Good morning, Tigers. I'm Michael. I'm Anthony. And I'm Hunter. And welcome to the Almost Live TNN broadcast for Monday, October 21st. Here's the news that you, you need, need to, to know. know. Tigers, this week is Breast Cancer Awareness Week, starting today. In an effort to raise money for this great cause, we'll be, we will be having a penny war between classes. There will be four jugs in the quad before school, at lunch, at break, and at break. Coins add points and dollars subtract points in each class jug. This is a spirit points competition, but the money you donate will also be helping people in need. Wear pink this Friday to help spread awareness of this cause. A few students in Mr. Naren's class are doing a project of donating food to a food bank and clothing to homeless shelters. Clearly labeled donation baskets will be in the library and Naren's room 200 throughout this week. Please bring gently used clothing and or non-perishable food items to the donation baskets in the library or room 200. Uh, attention clubs, the online poinsettia, poinsettia fundraiser is back. This is an amazing opportunity to raise funds for club projects and activities. Students simply have friends and family purchase poinsettias online for $12.50 each, and the club receives the profit after expenses. Club advisors, to have your club added, please contact Alina Harway at or, uh, Alana1Harway at gmail.com or Justine Heinsen, Justine Heinsen at gmail.com. No later than Wednesday, October 23rd. <coughs> Reach Club is meeting today at lunch in room 207. We will be doing some activities to get to know each other better and a short yoga session to relax. Hope to see you there. If you guys didn't know it yet, classes start at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Dismissals at 310 Tuesday through Friday. Harvard Model Congress mandatory meeting is this Tuesday, October 22nd, during lunch in Mr. McLoon's room 109. We will be voting on an important matter that will impact your experience at the conference. Please come. Film Production Club meets on Tuesdays tomorrow in Mr. Roper's room 506 for anyone interested in creative writing, acting, art, computers, electronic music making, and or working with cameras. Come meet with the coolest club on campus. <coughs> art Club meets every Tuesday in room 510. Come be a part of a new collaborative mural and help us renovate the art courtyards. Everyone is welcome. And if you want to unite girls and make a change, come to Portable 2 for Girl Up Club. The Slow High School and the Slow HS and uh, LMAS Choir will be presenting will present a tropical Halloween this Tuesday, October twenty second at six thirty p.m. in the Laguna Middle School multi-purpose room. The choirs will perform songs from Moana, Lilo and Stitch, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and more. The event is free and op open to the public. Students interested in the Slow High School Theater Program, please join us this Wednesday, October twenty second in Miss Evans Room 101 during lunch for an informational meeting regarding the future of the program and exciting new opportunities. Hope to see you there. Students interested in learning and performing ballet at Folklorico should come to, to an informational meeting in Room 103 or <coughs> on Thursday, October 24th at lunch. David Rodriguez will be leading a ballet Folklorico group at Slow High School. He and his family have been teaching dance in Mexico and at Reggetti and Pioneer Valley High Schools for many years. Tigers, it's spooky season. Get ready for FFA Scare Farm at the school farm this Saturday, October 26th, from 7 to 9.30 p.m. The farm will be transformed into a haunted maze of scariness and fun. Tickets are $5 each and can be purchased at the entrance upon arrival. Proceeds are going to the Jake Walker Memorial Scholarship to honor a slow FFA alumni who has recently passed away. If you are interested in helping or being a part of this event, staff members are included, please see Ms. Evans for details. The Scare Farm is open to the community, so be sure to tell your family and friends to join us. We would love to see everyone come out and enjoy our Scare Farm. Attention AP students, just a reminder to purchase your AP exams by 4 p.m. on Friday, November 8th. 
You may purchase exams through the SLC USD Community Web Store through the ASB office during break or at lunch. And then on my awesome Aztec Anthony with the upcoming sports. <coughs> hey Tigers. <coughs> Hey Tigers, last Friday football played their last home game against Napomo. <laughs> Smashing them 44-13. Great job to them. <clears throat> All girls interested in trying out for the girls basketball team next week need to attend a mandatory meeting in Mr. Monroe's room <laughs> on Wednesday, October 23rd at lunch. If you are unable to attend this meeting, see Mr. Monroe prior to the schedule meeting. <laughs> Sorry. Winter sports tryouts are October 28th through November 1st. All student athletes will be given the opportunity to try out for boys and girls basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Athletic clearance is required to try out. Student athletes in fall sports will be given a five-day tryout window when their fall season is over. Today's sports, we have girls water polo playing at Tascadero at Tascadero. Now back to you guys for the lunch. For that lunch today, we have chicken drumstick and mashed potatoes, hamburger and fries, chicken tenders and fries, Domino's pizza, turkey sandwich, turkey bacon sub, chicken tender baskets, and bean and cheese burritos. Our special for today is BBQ Ranch Shaker, and we also have pizza. Hope you have a magnificent Monday. <laughs> we'll see you here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers.